Asia Kay from Asia Kay Beauty and Asia Kay Salon coming to you as your soulful beauty professional coach. And I want to talk to you about how to be more soulful in your business. And this is a trick that may surprise you, but may not. And I'm excited to talk about it. The number one way you can be more soulful in your business and in your life is to meditate. Mm, meditate. It is weird. Yes, no, if you're in the world of kind of the woo-woo business, I guess you could say, meditation is a essential day of life. We want to do it daily. We want to do it often. This is a practice of the mind. And I do have a quote here from Headspace because that is a wonderful app if you're trying to get into meditating. Definitely recommend it. So meditation isn't about becoming a different person, a new person, or even a better person. It is about training in our awareness and getting a healthy sense of perspective. Hmm. Perspective. Life's all about perspective. You're not trying to turn off your thoughts and feelings, which is really hard. You think you're going to meditate and you're just going to have a silent brain of just white space. <laughs> That's not how it happens. You are learning to observe them without judgment, your thoughts and your feelings. And eventually you may start to understand them as well. And that is from Headspace. I absolutely enjoy the app Headspace and I hope that you will go check it out. They do have free versions of their meditations and they break it down pretty easily of if you are a beginner, if you're intermediate, do it daily and it will strengthen your mind. Meditation completely is a restful state before you go to sleep. So it's kind of like an in-between trying to explain my boyfriend what meditation is. He's like, well, are you asleep? Are you conscious? I'm like, yeah, I know what's going on around me, but I'm just living right here, right now. I'm clearing my mind of all the stress, of all of the things I have to think about. I am coming right here, right now, and not focusing on anything else. And sometimes I'll even just focus on my breath, come into myself, feel my power. Sometimes I will be in the sun and recharge, filling up my body with that hot, warm vitamin D energy. And sometimes I'm even thinking about a question. I'll have like two, three questions that I'm thinking about and I'm wanting to journal on, kind of ponder. An example would be, um, what is my why in business? What is my why in my life? Why am I here? What is some blocks that I have in my business? What are some blocks that I have in my life? How can I be better in my business? How could be better in my life? How can I better take care of myself? Or what do I need to learn right here, right now? And if you're quiet, you're silent, and don't let all the chatter go by, just let that go if it happens. Come back to your breath, refocus, that's okay. But eventually, that is where we get our answers. When we think about prayer, meditation, manifestation, these all go hand in hand. Prayer and being thoughtful, listen to the Holy Ghost or listening to spirit, this is all very similar. We are coming in, listening to our bodies, listening to our intuition, and listening to us. We're here. We have a soul. We have a spirit. And we have to listen to it sometimes. So, number one way to be a more soulful beauty professional, beauty professional, we are no longer in the drama world. We are now starting a new wave of being more soulful in the beauty industry. This is not just about being nitty gritty and all about the vein. We are here being more mindful of what we're doing. I have purple hair for a reason. I have, I support green for a reason as well. And my mandala, we all have symbolisms that we live by and that comes into play in our lives. So I love you all and I hope to see you soon for the next video of how to be a more soulful being professional. Bye.